So what's your stand with ano, the cyber crime law? I am against the provisions of the cyber crime law na pinahigpita nila ang, ang uh, penal provisions, especially on libel. Uh, it's a little dracosian, dracosian uh, too much. I think that should be repealed because uh, it's curtailing the freedom of expression in the internet. So I'm not in favor of that. I was not there anymore when they deliberated on it. So I was not able to vote and put a stand on the issue. But if I was there, I would not have agreed to those uh, particular provisions. I believe that there should be a law, uh, for example, on those uh, who will upload maybe um, information that could be detrimental to national security, uh, and also for a law that will, um, together with this, that, 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 as I mentioned, for national security, but also a law that would be able to curb uh, the downloading also of illicit uh, materials uh, or, or videos or pictures that can destroy a person. Yan okay ako dyan. But when it's freedom of expression, uh, we should allow uh, liberal, a more liberal stand on that issue. How about the divorce bill? I personally am not in favor of the divorce bill because my parents have been married for 50 years and I personally have seen them fight uh, for 30 years. If there was a divorce bill at that time, divorce of parents. But now they're so in love with each other, they cannot live without each other as a, a, an aging 70 plus year old couple. So that's testament that uh, the family could work if you just put some time and effort to it. Uh, also, um, I don't want to have a. I, we, we already have a, 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 a creeping dysfunctional society as it is already because of the OFW phenomenon. Parents are leaving uh, for abroad and their, the children are being taken care of, adult, of their lolos, their titos, uh, they're being abused and molested and, and all that and we're getting all sorts of uh, problems now in society. And we don't want that to happen with divorced children uh, from parents who just get married and decide to divorce out of uh, sheer, uh, the, just for the enjoyment of it. And uh, that's what we're trying to avoid. Uh, a society like America where children can go to school out of sheer anger of their family and parents and start shooting at the, randomly at other children. Uh, and uh, that's why I'm still not in favor of the divorce law. So are you pro or anti RH bill? Uh, very difficult. I'm anti-abortion, uh, but I'm pro-condom. Uh, personally, I'm not in favor of the Irish bill that was passed now because I don't like the provision on uh, the um, age-appropriate education. I have a five-year-old daughter, and I don't want her to learn about uh, uh, sex edu sexual education at 10 years old. Uh, I think that should have been left more to the discretion of the parents, or at least a little bit older. They, what we wanted to push for was more of an age or a year uh, in college, or in, sorry, in college, year in, in high school where they, it may start. But age appropriate could be a 10, 10 years old. So I don't want to happen to what had happened in England, where in England now has the largest number of preteen pregnancies. We're talking about 10, 11, 12 year old kids uh, getting pregnant because they start their sexual education at 10, 11 years old. So the children already practice uh, using the condom, they get the condom from the father's room, use it, and then they start uh, fooling around. And so that's what we don't want to uh, uh, sort of like uh, have a society with that uh, type of uh, problem. Okay. Last sir, gay rights. Yeah, I'm all for gay rights. I'm all for the rights of, of, of uh, no, I'm all for the rights. Actually, I'm against discrimination of all types, whether it is religion, cultural identity, or sexual preference. I'm against all forms of discrimination. They should be allowed to, to live their life as normally as possible. Because I'm going to try to pass a bill on the discrimination, uh, the anti-discrimination on religion and cultural beliefs. Um, why? Because there's still a number of our Muslim brothers who are being tagged as terrorists when they're not even terrorists because of their religious affiliation. And, and children of Muslim families whose kids, the women, cannot use their headscarf in schools. It's still being done in Cagayan de Oro, in, in, in uh, Davao City, in Zamboanga City. So that has to stop. Uh, we have cultural communities, IPs, who like to wear the traditional garb and they're not allowed to go to work because they're wearing their traditional garb. Uh, this should stop. And that should be the same for sexual preference. If they want to go bisexual, if they want to be 
uh, have a uh, alternative lifestyle, homosexual, or they want to uh, be whatever they want, transgender, so be it. Allow them to do it. As long as they do not hurt anyone and they follow the law, it's fine by me. Thank you, sir. Thank you.